From its Central American riverbanks to the dense, lush thick of the rainforest jungle, where mountainous forests fade into the savanna flatlands. Beyond the jungle rock escarpments and into the caves, this brief documentary merely scratches the surface of the biodiversity of Belize. A Central American paradise complete with palm trees and coconuts, Belize is thriving with life from the ground up. The jungle is full of vegetation, such as climbing vines, lichen, and mosses. The humid environment is perfect to sustain epiphytes, or air plants as they're often called. The epiphytes don't need soil to grow and root directly on other plant life. The jungle canopy extends over a hundred feet into the air. Sugarcane. The main export of Belize grows in the valleys below the rainforest. Rainforest, the perfect environment for fungi to thrive. Fungi will often culture its mycelium in trees, be they dead or alive. Caves can be found throughout St. Herman's Blue Hole National Park, and they also show new growth over time. Stalagmites form as water carries mineral deposits from the roof of the cave to the floor. Mineral deposits are then left while the water dissolves into the air, each water droplet doing its small part in creating a growing structure within the cave. The process sometimes takes centuries. The relative humidity here is so high, all of the walls are wet, leaving behind mineral deposits as water evaporates into the air. The caves are quite remarkable. Meanwhile, in the jungle where the fishtail palms grow, the rainforest floor is thriving with life. Leafcutter ants, selectively foraging throughout the jungle, severing leaves with their mandibles and carrying them for miles in an organized fashion like soldiers doing their diligent duty. so many traveling the same path so routinely the ants wear a path in the jungle floor. One group traveling one direction with a mandible full of leaf, another group traveling the opposite direction on their way to collect the next leaf and the occasional lost hitchhiker ant. As they near the nest, they converge into massive droves of leafcutter ants. It's quite a spectacle to behold. all for the sake of their young. As the day turns to night, the night brings out the nocturnal species of Belize. The tropical country 
is abundant with amphibious life. Many toads grace the lawns of the Lamini Riverside Retreat. But toads waiting for unsuspecting prey aren't the only ones out hunting at night. The gray fox is also out looking for a quick meal. The foliage of the rainforest provides shelter for much of the smaller rainforest floor wildlife. Plant life is so abundant, vine plants sprout directly from rock wall cliffs. Leafcutter ants aren't the only insect who've developed a live-in relationship. Belizean squirt termites, or nozzle-headed termites, squirt defensive chemicals at enemies through an elongated snout called a nasus. A dragonfly sits patiently perched in the event an unsuspecting meal should pass by. Butterflies, however, don't sit still for long. Because here, there are lizards. Belize is also home to what the locals refer to as bamboo chicken, or green iguana. Once hunted for its meat and eggs, these days the green iguana are protected native species. Several gecko species forage on the forest floor. They share habitat with the bicolored lizard, named for its distinctive two very contrasting colors. They forage for insects among the leaf litter. This one's on the trail of food. This one's in search of sunlight. Reptiles thermoregulate in the sun, meaning they use the sun's heat and the heat of things around them to warm their blood and maintain proper organ function. The competition here is fierce, so a lizard can't sit still for too long or they may go hungry. The warm and humid temperatures will have the lizard's food digested in very little time. Belize is also home to the brown or striped basilisk. The brown basilisk is also known as the Jesus lizard due to the small, lightweight, and extremely fast lizard's ability to run across water. This one is a juvenile. In spite of its ability to run obscenely fast, they are also capable of remaining very still. From the perspective of the lizard, the lens of the camera is a big plastic alien eye, but I'm a moving being behind the camera and tripod. These lizards will remain still until I leave, as they don't want to be spotted. They're very insecure and surprisingly fragile animals. The rufous-tailed hummingbird are a relatively common species native to the humid tropical lowlands of Belize. From the forest's edge and into the gardens they'll fly in pursuit of sweet plant nectar. Beating their wings so fast uses a lot of energy, so they feed a lot. <clears throat> Beating their wings so fast uses a lot of energy, so they feed a lot. 
him. Okay, that's your cue. Come on. <clears throat> ah, here we go. Beating their wings so fast uses a lot of energy. So they feed a lot. Belize is known to be home to over 600 species of bird. From the rainforest white-whiskered puffbird to the riverside waterfowl of Lamini Riverside Retreat. This little blue heron sits perched while a northern jacana forages for a meal. Tree swallows breed in Canada and the U.S., but spend winter along southern U.S. coasts, along the Gulf Coast to Panama and the northwestern coast of South America and into the West Indies. Belize is also home to the Yucatan woodpecker and the lineated woodpecker. Lineated woodpeckers mainly eat insects and their larvae. Some seeds, fruits, berries, and nuts. Lineated woodpeckers breed from April to May in Belize. Their nest cavities are excavated in dead trees. Both sexes work together to excavate the nest. But this one's not digging a nest. It's on the search for food. Near the riverbed, the jacana and purple gallinule are startled. Many birds seek higher altitudes. For in this riverbed, there are crocodiles. Belize is home to two species of crocodile, the moralettes and the American crocodile. They bask on the riverbank in the sun to warm their blood, and although they pose little risk to humans, they do tend to elicit excessive cautionary measures from the surrounding wildlife. But around here, one can't be too cautious if you're among the local waterfowl. This egret isn't taking any chances. He's surely got an eye on the crocodile. The coast is clear. The egret can carry on with its day 